uh, entitled Agile Projects, Experiences, Challenges and Future Work for Metrology for Digital Transformation. It will be presented by Aldo Garcia from uh, the Centro Nacional de Metrología of Mexico, SANAM. Uh, ha, Aldo has experience in development of projects and services for the area of uh, vibration and acoustics at, of SANAM. Uh, he has knowledge uh, about uh, apply applied to vibration and acoustics measurements, experience in calibration services, development and optimization of measurement systems using uh, instrumentation and, and, and automation and signal control uh, and processes for various transducers as well as programming skills, uh, knowledge of the standards for measurement laboratories, uncertainty estim estimation, all this staff teamwork, continuous improvement, and uh, of course, implementation of IL models. He is an active uh, participant in digital transformation topics such as Industry.0, uh, 4.0, and uh, Metrology 4.0, detailed cal calibration certificates. And uh, also, he works with remote sensors and the Metrology Cloud, some sort of. Um, Aldo currently leads one of these uh, digital transformation task forces uh, about Agile projects. Good morning, Aldo. Please go ahead with your presentation. Thank you, Hugo. I'm going to share my screen. Let me know if you can see it, please. Yes, now I can see it. OK. Thank you very much. So we're going to begin this, this presentation about the task force of Agile projects for the metrology, uh, for the digital transformation. This task force uh, was created uh, for the necessity to support the, the, the working groups and the task forces from, from the Inter-American uh, metrology systems. So uh, in this presentation, we are going to define the scope, the benefits and the strategy for the interaction between NMIs, National Metrology Institutes, and we are going to speak about experiences, challenges and future work. So let's go to begin this, this presentation. I'm going to share with you an introduction. Uh, we are going to listen uh, this video to share with you. Go ahead, Let's... Okay, that was a, a little introduction of our task force. So um, the intention of every metrology scientist and engineer is to develop problem solving capabilities to become more efficient through experience in order to create systems that can simplify tasks and deliver value. So we have ideas, we have knowledge, we have a model that we can uh, implement to simplify and to success value at the end of the of the projects. We have metrology because this is our goal in this effort. And the, the result of this is the metrology value solutions. So the task force of agile projects arose from the moment in which the digital transformation is the objective. Since the agile model is very useful to attend environments with rapid changes such as technologies. The success of the application of agile models in more complex organizational structures such as an enterprise originally arose from their implementation in small groups. 
with implementation of iterative and adaptive methods ensures that the product developed will have value for the stakeholders, adding well-defined roles in the organization and having consultant follow-up to the development team allows us to achieve a cadence and flow of activities that ensure to deliver quality and reduce the risk of failure. The success of the Agile model is that it focuses on the key customer and relies on the stakeholders so that the product development of service is expected. So we are going to focus right now for the Agile model. As you know, we, we have an Agile development that co uh, contains requirements, plan, design, develop, release, and track and monitor. We have these uh, circular activities and circular uh, criteria to define the Agile model. So if we follow this, we are going to guarantee uh, the, the product at the end of the project. Uh, and if we apply this, we are going to have improvement with uh, continuing cycles because we are, we are uh, applying continuing cycles, small, high functional and collaborative teams. Multiple methodologies are involved. Uh, we have flexible and continuous evolution of the, of the project and we have customer involvement. So we have our Agile Project Task Force goal, that is develop projects among NMI's natural metrology institutes in collaboration with SIM working groups, task forces, customers, and stakeholders in an Agile way, coordinating and transferring knowledge and providing support. We will be the support uh, task force for SIM working groups, and we are going to have this, this uh, in mind to, to achieve our goals. Okay, um, we have here the general objectives of the IL projects. Um, first, we have all of this. It's more or less the, the same as our colleagues uh, Antonio and Carlos told us. If we apply this, we are going to reduce the development time, we are going to reduce you know, certainty. Uh, it's important to make the difference. I said certainty about uh, uh, mitigate risk, rapid uh, identification of risk. So sorry for that, it's about the border. This is the, the meaning of for us to reduce uncertainty. We have to improve efficiency, improve quality, and improve the change a capability and a customer satisfaction. This is the general objectives of Agile projects. So we have we have two specific objectives of the Agile projects for the M4DP effort that are uh, promote and share knowledge to develop projects using Agile principles and model, uh, iterative and adaptive to each interested working group or, or task force, stakeholder and collaborators work in collaboration with the working groups and the stakeholders to give a track of the development of the projects to deliver in time, increase the commitment of the different NMIs participants in the projects using Agile model, increase the quality in the delivery of the projects working with the different groups to find joint efforts and develop them in Agile and cross cutting manner. Generate feedback information with the experiences achieved that can serve the working groups and stakeholders in their meetings and developments. This Agile model, uh, you can understand and learn that is very practical if we apply this, this kind of model because in this way we can um, get sure that we are going to work together in more efficient way. We have expected benefits of applying the Agile model to the EM4DT effort, that is effective hybrid, uh, remote or impersonal interaction between national metrology centers for the development of digital transformation projects, applying technologies of remote communications and interaction ideas. Uh, we know that the time is vital, so uh, the, the Agile model will allow it to be managed in a flexible way so that metrologists, scientists, engineers, or collaborators can combine their efforts in a coordinated manner and ensure that they can participate in projects without neglecting other important activities by applying agile criteria. 
we are speaking the same terms and criteria allows for better communication and therefore uh, better development of innovation and flow in project development. Since the Agile model defines roles, methods and principles can be ensured that everyone involved will be able to speak the same language. This is very important for us. Improve knowledge and experience transfer since all Agile project efforts are system systematically documented and all efforts are visible in a cross-cutting manner. Fostering innovation, improving workflow and transparency, and resolve of organizational uh, impediments. The National Metrology Centers in the region have interacted in coordinated manner over the years for the transfer of knowledge and metrological capabilities. Although they have been successful and have established mechanisms for this, the development of technological projects that require adapting to new technologies and trends opens an area, uh, an area of opportunity that allows the Agile model can complement the interaction very efficiently. There are many benefits using Agile models to organizations or projects. However, the following benefits are discussed and those, those uh, benefits were told in this slide. Then we have for sure expected challenges of adopting Agile model. And we define these ones. The challenge one is implementation is difficult without practice. We have planned the mitigation solution. Workshops are available and the task force will guide in all the process of implementation to improve it. We are going to find challenge change resistance. We have the mitigation solution. Agile model work is based on people and their culture. So they change will be gradual through the example of teams and groups that have already adopted the model. And we are going to have a, um, a challenge of implementation uh, will be difficult in traditional organizations. We have uh, the mitigation solution that is uh, the Agile model proposes the efficient propagation of a work structure and value development so that any organization that contemplates value change and technology should have no problem. As we know, the implementation of disruptive models can generate challenges that have been identified. So this is the mitigation solution of every uh, challenge expected. So we expect to move this, this mass uh, with a round shape rather than a cubic shape. Then we have Agile model as a scene from experience. Uh, we, we are going to talk experiences uh, from National Metrology Institutes. We have one for CENAM. Uh, this uh, was a metrological project with Agile model. We have development of a functional system to improve acoustic comfort in the interior of vehicles comparable in performance with international brands with more than 10 years of experience. The metrological knowledge was uh, vibroacoustics. The project budget of this project was 300,000 uh, dollars. Um, the time was three years uh, with demonstration iterations every six months and every year thereafter. The status of this project was uh, Fine, uh, was done, successfully completed uh, on May of this year and with new opportunities for collaboration. Uh, the risk, we detected risk because Agile model uh, works with uh, risk and dependencies. COVID-19 is was, it was a, a very uh, difficult uh, time for projects, for uh, development, but we have the mitigation plan that Agile provides us uh, the, 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 the solution, because we adapt, as, as our colleagues uh, at the previous presentation said, that Agile is to adapt to the, to the new, new uh, challenges. Uh, so, because we are iterative and adaptive, so we, we have to, to mitigate this COVID-19 uh, trouble and we get, uh, we get in a success way. The Agile team was seven mem members, one product owner, one product manager, one scrum master, and four development uh, team uh, operations uh, person. Uh, 
members. This is was performed on CENAM. We have uh, when uh, the task force was was created, we we implement an uh, agile pilot project to to know how implement this effort to a uh, more complex projects. That's why we begin uh, the agile pilot projects that uh, was the development of metrological cloud and uh, proposal and digital calibration certificates. Uh, we have the metrological knowledge was about metrological, metrological cloud and digital calibration certificates. The project budget is, is there is no project budget, but we have six months to develop this. Uh, the status is completed and we are going to deliver today these these documents. Uh, I'm going to sh we're going to share it to the web page. I'm going to tell Carlos to help us to to uh, upload the, the, the documents that we are going to share in, in the next hours. There is uh, delays though learning the Agile model. This is a expected uh, challenge because uh, when we identify the, 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 the stakeholders and, and the participants, we need to give them uh, a workshop about Agile model. So, they they must learn in a very rapid way uh, the all the uh, theoretical uh, uh, information but then we we begin uh, having these agile sessions and and the practice uh, with the practice they understand faster the how apply uh, agile model so this is was one of the risk box but we we made a mitigation plan that was periodic uh, periodic follow up of blockage planning with the coordinating group and improvement for the next projects we have. And for this uh, effort we have for metrological, metrological cloud 10 members and the digital certificate 12 members. The participation of different national metrology institutes and the uh, um, consultant of the TTB uh, were present there, SNAM, INTI and SENAME, SENAME, and those were our pilot projects, the digital calibration certificates and meteorological cloud. Uh, taking into account the lesson learned uh, together with the Agile Project Task Force Coordinating Group, we redesigned and adjust the work structure and role definition to adapt them to the work between NMIs. We learn about uh, the pilot projects, how to be, to, how to improve the interaction between NMIs, how to get more easy, easier the, the way that Agile can adapt to the uh, same region. And, and that's why we, we modify a little bit the structure of Agile and we made our own uh, structure. So let's go to that part. In order to meet the objectives and achieve the benefits uh, defined, defined above, we have developed Agile pilot projects, and and that's why we have here the the, the result of the of this uh, project Agile pilot project. We have here the structure. We have in the in the uh, the first uh, the head of this structure. We have stakeholders, workshops, and coordinator group that is. Uh, who are going to facilitate the, the, the workflow with the system and the structure. So I'm going to say that we restructure the, the organization with remote interactions because we, we need to collaborate with different NMIs. Uh, definition of the scopes, we, we better this, this part. Um, we, we improve, sorry. And we add about acceptance criteria. We uh, reinforce the idea of accept acceptance criteria. And um, then we improve the structure of the Agile project as is shown below. The different elements that compose this structure is, are the stakeholders that uh, I'm going to make a zoom here. They request solutions based, based on needs, technological observations, belonging to different organizations and working groups. The coordination group is a group of specialists belonging to Agile projects that land and define the strategies to approach. They find the ideas of the stakeholders and those coming from the workshops. 
They facilitate the definition of agile structure of projects interacting between stakeholders and the project manager. Train members of the agile structure for its application and provide follow up and simplify consultation. The workshops are events organized by internal or external stakeholders dealing with digital transformation topics where ideas, technologies and possible applications of interest to develop are observed. The product manager is uh, responsible for defining and supporting the building of desirable, possible, viable and sustainable products that can meet customer needs over the product market life cycle. We have a product owner that is responsible for defining stories and prioritizing the team backlog to streamline the ex execution of program priorities while maintaining the conceptual and technical integrity of the features or components for the team. The Scrum Master is a key of, of the success of, of uh, the, the projects because our servant leader that coaches for an agile te team, the Scrum Master role is taken by a team member whose primary responsibility is to assist the self-organizing, -organiz self-managing team to achieve its goal. The Scrum Master do, the, do this by teaching and coaching the team practices implementing and supporting principles and practices, identifying and eliminating impediments and facilitating the flow. And the develop, development team, uh, Agile team, is a cross-functional group of five, 11 individuals who define, build, test, and deliver an increment of value in the short time box. So we have here the structure, as you can see at the same level, these 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 uh, participants or elements of the structure define the epic. The epic is like it's the scope. So they work together to define the scope. Then we we go down with the product product manager and the product owner. They together with the development team that is scrum master and development team define the features of this epic or the scope and define as well the stories that conform these features. If you can see, we, we break down the, the epic in different elements that conform the features and, and at the same time we break down the features into stories and so on. In this way we can have a small task that can be done in, an, an, in a small time amount uh, to uh, deliver small pieces of a whole uh, scope. So we guarantee in this way that we are go not going to miss uh, something important to the clients. So uh, the elements is the epic. The epic, I'm going to describe it very fast because I don't have so much time, is the definition of the scope through the sum of ideas proposes, proposed by customers, stakeholders and collaborators. The features are these. These are the characteristics that define the epic through a breakdown of attributes, acceptance criteria, and deliverables. The story are these are large story are large activities that make up the features and are defined by the development team in conjunction with the, the product owner and the scrum master. And the stories are small activities that were broken down from larger activities for the purpose of improving the management of time, iterations, and desirable deliverables. Okay, we are going to, to, to we want to make very clear this part. Uh, we are going to explain very fast uh, an implementation example, defining an agile model. So imagine that our stakeholders are uh, automat automation of laboratory processes, metrology for industry 4.0, Cloud metrologies, technologies for, for metrology, digital certification calibre, certificate, and one of them uh, raised the hand and said, "I have an idea." And that that idea comes from us. If if the responsible of automation of laboratories says, "I want to uh, develop this te uh, technological project with you with your uh, agile model," so these come from all to us. Uh, we, we identify the stakeholder that it is automation of laboratory processes. We will research if there is not an example for the, from the workshops uh, that we can take account to, to plan to, to define a strategy, define a strategy from our coordination group. So 
these these uh, three elements uh, combined and uh, in a synergy way define uh, the idea of the automation laboratory processes and they say we want to to perform to the to develop a thermo hydro barometer so this is our project right now then we apply the this this um, this kind of a chain of activities request from expedited project attention from stakeholders customers or collaborators we review the issue with the agile project coordination group we define strategies and identification of roles according to the project members we effectively uh, effective we apply sorry and training of simplified agile model to the project members and the agile day meeting we define an agile day meeting where the customer stakeholders and collaborators meet with the project team and the agile project coordination group to define the epic and features in common agreements and all of them yeah, they they have to agree agree the the terms and the epic in order to break down into features and then to the stories as, as we said so we are going to let's go to mural so in this way, we apply technologies to simplify the. I have already here, open here. We apply this neural to to collaborate with our, our all of our stakeholders. As you can see, I I have here an example. We identify, as mentioned, um, as mentioned, it, uh, the automation of laboratory processes is, is our stakeholder. The coordination group is a facilitate and define strategy. Right now, I put uh, Hugo Gasca like a product manager of this project that it is for the thermo barometer. And we define uh, in collaboration with these, these persons the EPIC. And the EPIC is development of a system for remote measurement of laboratory environmental conditions, temperature, relative humidity, and atmospheric pressure, including network connectivity for data extraction. We have here not a very uh, clear uh, idea of uh, remote calibration or verification. So this epic was from the the meeting of these these all of uh, important elements in the Scrum in the project structure. So then, uh, if we uh, I'm going to focus here. We define with the with the. Um, product manager, product owner, and the scrum master. The features, the features are the the, the elements that compose the, the epic. So as we know, we we need sensors, we need the part of integration, we need to the data process, we need the part of connectivity, and it, it can it can continue. We 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 need there for the remote calibration maybe DCC. We need maybe the calibration certificate digital calibration certificates, we need maybe help of uh, industry 4.0. This is uh, this is the uh, the planning uh, time. So we, we have here an example. Maybe there is not all the elements that compose the future, but it's an example. OK, then as we follow the, the structure, this, uh, there are the sensor, the data process and the connectivity. So Diego, for example, Diego Copa the, from Inti uh, where is going to work from all the part of sensors. He will be the, the char in charge to, to be uh, very, very focused that the development team with the Scrum Master achieve the, the objectives of this part of the sensors. So he is going to talk to me because I'm the Scrum Master and I am to talk with the development team. So all, all we are going to work together and we have transversal uh, communication between product owners or the different elements that compose the, the project. So if you can see, we have well-defined structure. We, we have well-defined roles. Uh, we, we can simplify the, the effort to, to all of them. They understand the same, the same language. They, uh, all of them know what they want and need to do to develop this project. Later, we apply this uh, structure to define, as our colleagues show us, the, the iteration plan, uh, the, define here who are the Scrum Master, the, 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 the product owner, uh, calendarize the, the, the activities, define the, the activities, uh, select the persons 
with their activities and uh, develop here and, and share the, the, the information that they cover, uh, recollect and they generate. Um, this is part of the of the agile model. So I'm going to go back to our uh, presentation to, to the final uh, and conclusions. So this is our work. We are going to, uh, in the short term, you are going to share our phase one of Agile Pilot Project. Today we are going to upload this information. Uh, we are going to have interview with all the state, uh, stakeholders of the Metrological Cloud and Digital Certificate with the development deliverables of the pilot projects to have a discussion of future uh, Agile projects to define uh, DCC and Metrology, Metrology Cloud. We are going to provide Agile model workshops. If you want, you you can tell us and we can give you Agile model workshops for you. If you are uh, interested, please send us an email. Uh, we are going to identify with the stakeholders new projects to develop in Agile way. And the future work, we are de developing the thermo hydrobarometer with the task forces in Agile way. We are continuing with EDCC and Metrology Cloud Agile projects to develop uh, the first apps. And the long and the long term, we are to we are going to have uh, to define our start stakeholders and finish DCC and MC uh, Metrology Cloud. As a conclusion, the Agile Projects Task Force provides support to stakeholders to make their projects more successful in delivering value by satisfying their requirements. The lessons learned from the pilot projects allow structuring a new way to implement the Agile model and to provide follow up and control always having a seeking interaction between the national metrology institutes to develop projects around the digital transformation and the improvement of the objectives of the inter-american metrology system so this is a call for all interested uh, please join us if you are interested in participating in agile projects and receiving technical and management knowledge please contact us be part of the success in agile movement so this is uh, everything for our side. Uh, questions and contact. Uh, there is me, my contact, Alu Garcia, or you can contact Alexis Valky or Hugo Gastka. So thank you. I, I don't know if you have comments. Thank you very much, Aldo, for your presentation. Very interesting. And two examples. Uh, please write down your questions if you have any question to Aldo for. Uh, for the other speakers. Uh, right now, I, I see the just the presentation. I couldn't uh, review this before, Aldo, that you sent. Uh, but I have a question right now. It's about if, 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 you, if you have considered any line of action to support uh, the IDB project from SIM. Uh, it, it was not uh, clear for me that it was considered in this, in this presentation as action. Okay, yeah, actually uh, we, we need to um, define this this participation for sure we, we have with you, <laughs> especially uh, first talks about how we can implement Agile model. For sure, uh, if, you, if you tell me that we are going to apply this Agile model for IBD uh, projects, uh, we need to uh, um, meet and define the structure for how we are going to apply this this agile model for this this kind of project and and something very important is that we need uh, uh, some metrologists interested in, in participate in these different kind of projects using agile agile model so please if you are interested come with us we are going to give you a capacitation some courses workshops to understand this this uh, agile model and this will help us to help us to cover all the agile projects that we have right right now we have uh, the thermo agrobarometer project that is very interesting we need persons who are interested in participate and as you said uh, Hugo uh, we are going to think about then and at the IDD project we need more more uh, collaborative persons to to achieve these important projects. So 
that's the, the answer, Hugo. Thank you, Aldo. Thank you very much for your answer.